Hey folks, reviewing McReview Face coming back at you, and today we're talking about hockey cards from Tim Hortons, and uh, we're gonna open up 10 packs and see what we get. That's right, so I've got 10 packs of hockey cards from Tim Hortons. We're gonna open these up and see what we get. I do have one pack that I had already previously opened, uh, which got me a gold Grady Thachuk, a Joel Farabe, I'm going to butcher the names of these. And an Austin Matthews, which... Who cares about that one? So yeah, I'm just going to go through and see what I get. Uh, hopefully I get a couple of good flames. Um, I have no idea if... I don't think any of these are going to be worth huge amounts of money. I think I saw somebody else doing a review saying that some of the like really specialty cards are worth make up to like 20 to $30 Canadian. Um, we'll see if we find anything that looks special. So we've got, uh, first off... A Charlie McAvoy. I don't really know much about that guy. We've got a canvas, canvas, NHL canvas card, and it's got like a nice, you can, I don't know if you can, yeah, you can kind of tell the difference there, the shininess versus the matte finish. So that's kind of cool of a Patrice Bergeron and a Josh Norris. I don't know how many cards are in the set. And to be honest, I mean, I watch a bit of hockey, but I don't watch a ton, so I may not know a lot of these guys. Jordan Greenway, for example. Don't really know who he is. We've got a William Nylander. Is that a gold? Yeah, that's one of the gold cards. Huh. Couldn't tell from that angle for some reason. And a Shea Weber. I like Shea Weber. Good guy. The other thing I heard other people talking about when they uh, when they got these is that they found the packs difficult to open, which uh, I don't see why. If you just grab right here and pull and then just split it from there, pull, pops open like nothing. I don't understand what the difficulty is there. Oh, we've got our first double of Joseph Farabe. We also have, oh, what's this one? This is a photo finish of Jordan Binnington for the Blues. Guess, yeah, it's the goalie. Okay, so that's a, that's a different card. And a Jason Spurgeon. Yeah, I used to collect cards quite a bit in my youth. Uh, my dad and I would collect them. Uh, we went to card shows during the 90s. I was right around that big upper deck boom when they first came out. We were big into the cards then. Um, also, my dad collected cards in around, oh, you know, the early 80s. Interesting time to collect cards. We'll talk about that more in a future video, maybe. This one, we've got Roman Yossi. I'm going to guess that the J is silent. Uh, we've got a, a red Artemi Panarin and an Alexander Barkov. Barkov. No flames yet. Um, that's, I think, what we're going for is either something fancy or, uh, or a nice Flames card. We've got a Patrick Lane. Got another red one, a Brad Marchand. And a Dylan Cozens. So far, so good. And we have our first Flame for now, hopefully. Um, by the time this video is published, maybe not so much a Flame anymore. Matthew Tichak. Gotta love that one. Uh, here we have a Superstar Showcase of Mark Sheffel. Oh, I thought it was a little mark on his card, but no, he's just got his mouth guard hanging out. Um, so that's a that's a different card. We don't have one of those. We don't have a superstar showcase yet. And we've got a, uh, a John Klingberg. What do we got left? We got one, two, three, four packs of cards left. Uh, and first we get a Ryan O'Reilly. Another red. Ooh, this is a good red, I think, in Alex Ovechkin. I think anything Alex Ovechkin is going to be good. Uh, and then another another double, the William Nylander. Um, I'm, I'm going to do a quick search online once we finish opening these packs and just see if any of these actually are valuable at all. We've got a, a Sebastian Ajo. We've got another NHL canvas, and that's of Nathan McKinnon. And a Pavel Buchnevich. Buchnevich? I don't know. That's that's a guess at what that name could is. Two packs left. And these are going for a buck ninety-nine at Tim Hortons, unless you buy a drink, in which case they are a dollar. Um, and the drinks are definitely more than ninety-nine cents. So, oh, here we go. We've got our first Oiler, Leon Drysidle. Oh, we got a, a cool-looking card underneath there. Who we got? Ooh, we've got the red Tim Horton card. Uh, that's kind of cool, coming from Tim Hortons. We've got Tim Hortons card and a Thomas Shubo. Last pack, last chance at. Uh, that's some flames or something valuable. We get a Brock Bozier, another superstar showcase, and that's Jonathan Huberdeau. Huberdeau, uh, let's, let's say Huberdeau, and a Braden Point. All right, so there we go. We've got uh, a good stack 
of normies, two goldies, two canvases, a photo finish, two superstar showcases, and four of these specialty rounded corner red cards. Yeah, you know, not counting this gold card that I already had, that's basically, yeah, one per pack. You get something, whether it's a gold card, a canvas card, a photo finish, a superstar showcase, or a red one. So let's just take a quick peek online and see, are any of these valuable? Uh, there's a couple of the base cards that are worth up to three dollars. Um, if we look, the next most valuable thing it looks like is the uh, Hockey Heroes inserts. We did not get any of those. We also did not get any of the Pro Motion cards, those ones. So the, uh, the, the Game Heroes go for anywhere from $25 to $50. Not bad. The promotion, pro motion cards are anywhere, it looks like, from between $7 to $12. Next, we get into the canvases. Now, the canvas cards, we do have two. We've got number two and 13. So Patrice Bergeron is worth $4, and Nathan McKinnon is worth $5. So there's nine bucks worth of cards right there. That's not bad. Next, we go into the gold etchings, of which we have two. Number 12, Michael Nylander is worth three bucks. 14, Brady the Chuck is worth three bucks. There's another six bucks on top of the, what is that? So that's $15, right? 15, am I adding that up right? The Superstar Showcase, Mark Scheffel is worth a buck. Jonathan Huberdeau is worth the least at 75 cents. The Photo Finishes is worth 60 cents. And the Die Cut Reds, now these, it looks like vary anywhere between two to 12 dollars yeah so that die cut tim horton number one is eight bucks brad marchand is four dollars alex ovechkin is worth five bucks our panarin is worth a 40 so what do we what do we have like 45 50 bucks worth of uh, worth of cards here's the funny thing with card values of course this is all book value book value is something i learned when i was uh, collecting cards as a young lad book value doesn't mean much when you're talking to dealers okay i could go and say hey i have a uh, dc number one tim horton die cut red card it's worth eight bucks give me eight dollars and it's now this is not a legal tender transaction type of thing this is a uh, oh that's worth eight bucks great i'll give you three says the dealer or i'll trade you for other cards that are worth seven you know so having a value on them is all fine and dandy but that doesn't mean that you'd actually be able to sell it for that amount that being said i think you know what for the uh for the fun of cracking open all these packs and uh for the cards that we did get we uh, we got more out of the packs than we paid for them so all in all i would say the tim hortons packs uh you know if you're swinging by for a double double anyways and a couple of tim bits why not grab a pack of hockey cards that is one of the most Canadian sentences I think you could probably say. Let me know in the comments below uh, which cards you have, which cards you're looking for, and if there's anything out of this set that is something that you're looking for to complete your set, drop me a comment below, and I'm happy to organize some trades uh, through the mail. So let me know what works for you. Uh, we'll go, uh, I'll be fair. I'll be fair in the trades. But hey, I'm not trying to sell you anything. I'm just... Uh, getting uh, bitten by the collecting bug again when it comes to hockey cards. I'm reviewing McReview Face and uh, I'll see you next review and I will trade you anything but the Matthew Fitchuk. That one's mine. Unless you want to trade for, uh, for an Eichel.